Ito po muli si Father Dave sa ating Di po ba Father that we may become a better person today than yesterday. The question is, what should I do or how how should I how can I read the Bible? The attitude in reading the Bible. Ano pa? Ulang-una, kailangan natin tanggapin na tayo mga Katoliko, tamad tayong magbasa ng Biblia. Ano po? So, you want, you want to read the Bible. There must be a desire to read the Bible. St. Jerome said, ignorance of Scripture is ignorance of Jesus Christ. You read the Bible, Because you want to know God. Sabi ko nga kahapon sa Misa, if you love the Lord, you must love His Word. What are the things you need to have when you read the Bible? Number one, number one, get a good Bible. Get a good Bible. Readable easy to understand when I say readable, don't get an old English Bible unless you are a very poetic person. Yung mga old English, daw, daw, daw. Ano, mga puro ganyan. Ha? The old King James Version, old English, poetic pero mahirap intindihin. So when you want, if you read, you want to read the Bible, get a good Bible. When I say a good Bible, it is from the secondary text. Ano ibig sabihin ng secondary text? Meron mga Bible na ginawang comics. Ginawang comics. Ano pa? Ay, kung magbabasa ka ng comics, di, di ba yung mga pambata? Ano pa? Bible in picture, Bible for children. Uh, meron tayong Bible na ginawa for millennials. Ano po, parang ginawang comics. Parang ginawang comics yung Biblia. I, I don't suggest that you, you read them. If you want to know God, you read and get a good Bible. I always recommend two Bibles. Ano po, New American Bible and new revised standard version. There are good English translation. Get the Catholic edition because there are books that are not included in non-Catholic editions. Walang apocrypha. Ano po? So, get a Catholic edition. You read. Yung pipilin mo maganda. Pag binasa mo, naintindihan mo. Second, second, You want to understand the word, you must pray before reading it. You must pray. Lord, open my mind, my heart, that I may be able to understand your word. You pray. Because you are not only reading something histor historical or whatever. Ano pa? So, get a good Bible, pray before reading it, Third, third, this is a common mistake. Don't read the Bible from the beginning. When I say, don't start reading the Bible from the book of Genesis. Pagdating nyo ng numbers, patay na kayo. Ano pa? Masisira ng ulo ninyo. Hindi nyo na maintindihan. When you read the Bible, it starts with the gospel. I would say it starts with the gospel. We have four gospels. John, Matthew, Mark, Luke. You read starting the gospel. You begin with the gospel of John. Then you go to the synoptics. Mark, Matthew, and Luke. We, you begin reading those. Hindi yung sa simula. Ano pa? You have to understand the reason why we are reading it. Again, 
get a good Bible, pray before reading. Third, begin with the gospel. Then you finish the New Testament before going to the Old Testament. But when you read it, you don't have to read it by chapter. Read it by stories. Read it by stories. You can, you can read the feeding of the 5,000, the healing of a woman with hemorrhage, the calling of the disciples. You read it by stories, not by chapter. Para alam nyo naman, ah, itong kwentong ito. Ano po? Huwag nyo babasahin na parang nobela yan. Wala kayong kahihinat nandyan. Don't read it as a historical book. It is not a historical book. You read it by stories. Again, good Bible, pray. You read from, from the gospel first. Don't begin reading from the beginning. From the beginning. And fourth, you, you, you make a journal. I would encourage you make a journal from the, from the passages you read every day. Ano po? You read. Oy, ano nakuha mo ngayon? You read. You write it. You write it. Huh? Simple, simple attitude in reading the Bible. Get a good Bible. Pray. Third, don't read from the beginning. You start with the gospel. You read per stories. Fourth, you make a journal. Ano na, anong na-realize ko ngayon? Anong na-realize ko? Perhaps, pandagdag lang, never do a Bible cutting. Never do a Bible cutting. Ano ibig sabihin yung, pag kayo may problema, gagawin nyo, Lord, magsalita ka. Tapos pipiliin mo yung verses na gano'n. Ano po? Ha? Never do that. It is not good. Never do that. God can speak to you without cutting the Bible. Ano po? Kalukuhan niyan. Sorry for the words. Pag kayo may problema, halimbawa, ang example ko dyan eh. Pag may problema, nag-Bible nag cutting, ano Lord, anong, gu- anong gagawin ko, Lord? Anong gagawin ko? Nag-Bible cutting siya. Tapos, ang nabasa niya, in Judas hung himself. Ano nga? Ay di, magbibikti ka. Sabi, mali, mali, mali. Hindi ito. Hindi. Hindi ito. Gaganoin mo pa, parang baraha. Para lumuwag-luwag. Ano? Tapos, pipikit ka ulit. Binuksan mo ulit. Ang kasunod na nabasa mo ay, whatever you need to do, do it quickly. Ay, ah, yari ka. Ano pa? So, wag, wag na wag na wag na wag mong gagawin yan. Tayong mga, marami sa atin nagsisimba. Naghahanap tayo ng ball dyan sa mga parokya na mayroong mga Bible passages. Pero namimili naman talaga tayo ng gusto nating basahin. Kaya dapat get one. Yung iba, tatlo. Tatlo. Bumaw. Ay, hindi ito. Ay, hindi ito. Ay, ito. Ito ang word ni Lord sa akin. Hindi yan word ni Lord sa iyo. Yan ang gusto mong marinig. Pinagpilian mo na eh. Ano pa? If you only believe what you want to believe in the Bible, then you are not listening to God. You are only believing yourself. Kaya nga pinapalagyan ko yan eh. Yung mga may ball na ganon, na Bible passages, pinapalagyan ko. Ha? Sabi ko, isama mo naman itong passage na ito. Ano yan, Father? You fool! I will take your life tonight. Yan. Magandang mabasa mo yan. Ano po? Maganda yung pagdinampot mong ganyan. You fool! I will take your life tonight. Tingnan natin kung ano sasabihin mo. Ano po? Again, my brothers and sisters, Bible week ngayon. Ano? Magbasa. Get a good Bible. Get a good Bible. Second, you pray. You read it by stories. Begin with the New Testament. Begin with the Gospel. Never begin with the book of Genesis. And fourth, learn to scribble and perhaps do a journal in the Bible, in your readings every day. 
later on we'll talk about other things and what you can do about the Bible. Batiin natin yung mga nagpapabati. Ano pa? Shout out pa lang tao dito. Shout out. Batihin natin mga tak tak takloban. Mga taga kawawa tagig. Wawa lang, wawa lang. Wawa tagig. Bakoor kabite, Obando Bulacan, Marilao Bulacan, Nagkarlan Laguna, Kalibo Aklan, Candelaria Quezon, Iligan City Isabela. Magpakabait ho kayong lahat ha. Itong isa hindi ko mabasa. Kukwitlam, Canada. Tama po ba yan? Kukwitlam. Kukwitlam, Canada. San Diego, Hayward, and Vallejo, California. Tokyo, Japan. Domo, arigato. Gumastos ka. Muli po si Father Dave sa atin. Di po ba, Father, that we may become a better person today than yesterday. Ano po? Ingat po palagi. Ingat po palagi. Ano po? Huwag niyo po akong tatanong itong call sa, sa vaccine. Ano po? I am not the position to ask those questions. Kung kayo ay ibabaksin, pray na, na walang negative side effect. Ano po? Siyempre may side effect, pero sana naman hindi negative. Hindi negative. So pray because many of our OFWs are having their vaccines already. Ingat po palagi. Ano po? Ingat palagi. Father Dave, muli sa ating deep of a father that we may become a better person today than yesterday. Kawai. God bless.